how to use Binance NFT Marketplace. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Binance NFT Marketplace to buy and sell NFTs. Now, if you don't know what Binance is, it's one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the space right now, and you can buy and sell cryptocurrency but recently they added this NFT marketplace. So how to actually access this is you come over to the Binance dashboard and simply click NFT in this top corner. Now this is the marketplace and this is where we can actually buy and sell NFTs. So if we start off with gaming slash IGO, this is the gaming NFT category. Now this is where you can check out new and the best crypto and NFT games. For example, you have this, D-Race, which I guess is going to be pretty similar to the already popular Z-Race. If we click through to it, it's going to tell you more about it, and then you can actually go ahead and start buying these NFTs. This one right here, Ticket Olympian, is going to cost you $6,700. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it because I have no idea about this project. Next, you have the marketplace, and this is the regular marketplace where people will list and buy by NFTs. Now you have top sales of the past day, top collections of the past seven days, and top creators of the past seven days. This one recently sold for $12,000. And after you have checked them out, you can come down here and look at the recommended project. You have projects ranging all the way from $7 all the way up to 1.2 million. Now, the awesome thing about Binance is because it is a crypto account in itself, you don't have to mess about linking it to a MetaMask or Trust Wallet or anything like that. Your wallet is automatically integrated, so you can just go straight ahead and buy any of these NFTs. You can sort this by a few things you can either sort this by ending soon recently listed low to high high to low or most favorited this is pretty cool it's pretty similar to the board ape yacht club you can see the creator of this and who currently owns it it tells you what the current bid is when the auction ends and you can either place a bid for 0.4 eth or you can buy it outright for 0.888. You can also take a deeper look into collections by clicking view more, and you can also sort this by all time, one day, seven days, or 30 days. Let's sort this by the last 30 days, and this cyball appears at the top. This has done $11 million in volume, so let's take a look at this project. Cyball is a football or US soccer themed NFT based game where users can collect, trade, mentor and ultimately battle against each other using cyblocks in various cyball stadiums. The concept sounds pretty cool and these are the cards that you can collect. You can also sort by which currency you would like to pay in. You can sort by ETH and all the Ethereum ones are going to pop up. You can sort by BNB and all the Binance coin ones are going to pop up. And finally, you can sort by BUSD. Finally, you have the mystery boxes selection. The current offer they are promoting is this Monsters Clan mystery box, which would cost 20 Binance USD. And this has already sold out. It looks like they are already getting sold for $10 higher than what they were worth when they first went on the market. This is a prime example of if you get in a project early, you can instantly flip it for profit. Now, if we scroll down, we can see a few more. For example, this GameFi protocol meow box, and we can explore the marketplace further. Once again, you can sort this by different filters, and you can scroll through and see if there are any boxes that you like. So let's take a deeper look into how these mystery boxes or this mystery box actually works. It says there will be 10,000 mystery boxes on sale, including 100 boxes reserved for the community every user can buy a maximum of 10 boxes. The mystery boxes can be listed on the Binance NFT secondary marketplace three hours after the official sale begins. Here are the following ways you can utilize the Monsters Clan NFT. You can either sell the NFTs on the marketplace, put the NFTs on rent to have passive income in Mons token, which is this right here. The chart doesn't look too promising, but let's ignore that for now. You can also stick NFTs to earn Mons, and play against other monsters with your NFTs. So this is pretty similar to how most of these box openings will work. And if we come over to the Monsters Clan actual website, you can see that each of these monsters has different stats. This 
This one called Cyclopster has 70, 60, 60, 70, as opposed to this Rutricia that has 50, 40, 40, 50. So it's absolutely no doubt that if you got this Cyclopster out of this mystery box, you will be able to sell this for way more money than this Rutricia. So that's a basic overview into how the mystery boxes work. You pay for the prize and it is down to look for how much you can make. So the fact that Binance has the wallet integrated into its marketplace and it is so easy to use, I think the Binance NFT marketplace is by far the best place that beginners can get started with NFTs. That was how to use the Binance NFT marketplace, I hope you guys enjoyed.